Fredericton's police chief is coming under fire after the Attorney General refused to lay charges against a controversial blogger. Charles LeBlanc was arrested by Fredericton police for criminal libel. A section of the criminal code already ruled unconstitutional in other provinces, critics have suggested the arrest was a thinly veiled vendetta by the police against the outspoken citizen journalist. Now, Chief Barry McKnight says he'll support an independent review of his officers' actions in the case. Sheetal Rowell is the spokesperson for the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. She joins me from Toronto. Sheetal Rowell, thank you very much for joining us. Are you surprised by the Attorney General's actions in this case in deciding not to press charges? I think we're pleased by the decision. I think we're not surprised in that this um, provision has been tested in other provinces and has been found to be unconstitutional. I think that it was the right decision because it wouldn't, would likely not have passed constitutional muster in a New Brunswick court. So I think that we're pleased with the decision. Now the police defend their actions by saying, well look, the law is on the books. We felt the law had been broken. So it's entirely appropriate that we would recommend these charges to the Crown. Is that a fair defense? I think that we would want to know more about the discretion that the police chief had in this case. Um, I think that we would want to know if he had discretion to uh, act or not act in the public interest as well. I think we have questions about the appropriate um, exercise of the investigative powers in this case and so questions about why it took us three months to get to this place or uh, questions about the search and seizure whether it in fact was reasonable or does it engage the section 8 of the charter which is um, a protection against unreasonable search and seizure so I think there's questions we can ask about the investigation. What was the biggest concern the Canadian Civil Liberties Association had with this case? I think that there were two concerns. The first would have been the police accountability and transparency issue, considering that it was a police officer who had been a complainant in the matter. But I think that we are especially concerned about the possible chilling effect uh, this arrest and investigation could what have you, on freedom what, of expression. What, tell me what you mean by the chilling effect. Expand on that a bit. So the fact that a vocal critic of the police force was arrested and investigated for comments he had made on his blog, I think could send a message to members of the community that uh, could perhaps dissuade them from speaking out or commenting online or otherwise on matters of um, involving public officials, uh, public uh, or state agents such as police officers. So uh, speaking out or criticizing uh, public institutions is an important part in any democracy and I think that we should be encouraging that type of expression not uh, potentially chilling it. Now, the Canadian Civil Liberties Association was so concerned by this case that it wrote Chief Barry McKnight on at least two occasions. How did he respond to the expressions of concern from your group? So we wrote to him and we received a response that said he couldn't speak to the matter because it was uh, under investigation at the time. So what we did was sent him a formal request for information under New Brunswick's uh, access to information legislation. So he wrote back with some statistical data about how often Section 301 has been investigated um, in the province since 1988, I guess. It was in the computer system. So. And, and how often has that happened and what does that tell you? Well, so it um, appears that it's been used 12 times um, for investigations. Charges haven't been laid. Two of the investigations are still still going on, although I think one of them might have been Mr. LeBlanc's case. Right. And uh, a majority of those investigations have taken place in the past five years. So I think it raises more questions for us than it answers. I think it raises questions about the use of this provision, which has been found unconstitutional uh, in multiple jurisdictions. Over at least four provinces have found it unconstitutional. And so I think that uh, while it's rarely used, I think it's used too much. Uh, Chief McKnight now says he'll have uh, an independent review done of his department's conduct in this case. Um, is that enough? Is his involvement a concern? I think it is. I think we're. I, I think we're pleased that there will be an independent investigation, or at least there's been a commitment to one. I think that we question the police chief's involvement in this. Um, so we would need more information about the process, what his involvement would be. Uh, because I think that when it comes to police accountability mechanisms, such as third-party investigations, 
the uh, they ought to be in they ought to appear to be independent and effective if they are to restore faith or to ensure faith in the uh, policing in, in the province. So I think that that's definitely some questions that are raised about it. I think that perhaps this is a case for the New Brunswick Police Commission, uh, which is an independent oversight body. But I think that yeah, they say they don't have jurisdiction in a case okay. like this. So right. it would have to be some other agency. Would the recommendation right. be that it be an agency outside the province or? Well, I think we would just want to make sure that it was an yeah. independent mm -hmm. and effective process because the last thing you want when you're trying to restore people's faith in the police system is the apprehension of bias yeah. or, or, right, so. Yeah. All right, I want to thank you very much for your insight today. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for having us. All right, take care. Sheetal Rawal right. is the spokesperson for the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. I spoke with her from Toronto. And we have a break here, but when we come back, I'll be speaking with our web